Hockey fans, Leaf fans, sports fans in general. This video is going to start off very different than usual. Because something happened tonight that I got to make very clear to people and I want you to listen to me really good. As much as I have used this app before to buy my tickets, I'm never using it again. If you have ever used Game Time, and if you don't know what Game Time is, well, I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm not even going to go on the website anymore. Screw that. Don't, if you want to look up the Game Time app and you haven't used it before, go look it up. But I'm never using this app again. Once I get this, this thing resolved, I'm deleting my account and that's all she wrote. And you probably want some story time to this before I get to the Leafs losing 5-1 to the freaking St. Louis Blues. So it starts with, beginning of October, I get tickets to uh, the Leafs for, for my mom's birthday. Right? Jacked up. First Leaf game of the year. Good stuff. We're ready to go. Her and I head down today to go to the game. We get inside the li- in, in the line, just get our tickets scanned, get to the front. Right? Got our phone. Right? do do Invalid. Okay, well, let's try the other one. Sometimes this gets screwed up. Right? Invalid. Okay, let's try it again. Invalid and obviously invalid. But if you've ever, obviously if you use an iPhone and you have the tickets in your wallet, you scan the thing. It says check mark and done at the bottom at the end of the scan. So it went through, but it's not on their system. So I'm thinking, okay, what is going on right now? And so security guy there, great dude. I think his name is Steve. I can't remember, but uh, takes me to uh, the box office. And in the line there, the guy's like, yeah, download the Leafs app and, and, and go through that way through that to get your tickets. I'm like, okay, fine. Do the same thing. Now, you, when you're, you know when you're on Ticketmaster and you see kind of transfer, sell, and like those buttons pop up? Well, you could see it grayed out and then instantly gone. And it says like, I don't know, you know, on the tickets or something along those lines. And I'm like, okay, this is very, very, very weird now. I'm starting to get frustrated because it is now like 15 minutes till puck drop and I'm sitting here not like basically not having tickets in my hand. What is happening? So I talk to the dude inside the inside the till at the box office. He takes down my information, you know, full name, email, phone number, all that stuff. And he comes back after you know doing I guess asking people to search stuff up for me. And his first question back to me was, "Sir, do you go by a different name?" And I'm like, I- excuse me? Uh, no. What name is attached to this? Well, we can't provide that information. Yeah, bite me. All right, yeah, yeah I get it. Sure, you, 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 you got to give me the spiel. And I'm like, no. No, I can't. So now I'm starting to get pretty pissed off because I'm like, great. So now there's another name under my p- tickets. I probably got scammed. Something happened here. So what do I do? I go on the Game Time app. And I see accept tickets, bu- uh, the accept tickets button pop up. And I'm like, oh, okay, do I have to accept again or something? I don't know. I click on accept tickets. And I kid you not, I will show you guys the screenshot that I took of my tickets. Right there. Accepted transfer to Mustafa Murad. Just make it pretty clear to you guys, I don't know who the hell a Mustafa Murad is. So I thought, okay. I'm furious. Let me check my email because I think, you know what? Maybe. Maybe this will give me some clarity. Maybe they sent me something and I just missed it. Yesterday. Again, I bought these before October the 4th. And yesterday, your ticket transfer to Floyd is on the way. That same day, obviously, Mustafa Murad has accepted your tickets. And so that means my tickets are gone. I don't have them now. So I'm sitting here 300 bucks in the hole, sitting outside of Scotiabank Arena with my mom and for her birthday gift with nothing. Luckily, there's some scalpers. I can't remember their name. They helped us out. Again, cheaper tickets than the stupid Ticketmaster stuff or game time. Better seats as well. Had to pay extra money. And of course, watch the Leafs lose five freaking one. So that was that. Awful experience. So again... If you ever have used the Game Time app, do not use it again. Because I am not. I've used it a lot in my time with Blue Jays tickets for concert tickets and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm not using it ever again. Done. 
I'm not losing money on some clown trying to make some money. And funny thing, because it was only one section over from uh, the, the scalper tickets were only one section over from the actual these the seats that I actually bought. So I thought, you know what? First intermission, let me go have a look. Let me go have a look to see if someone's sitting there. So I went up there. There was a lady uh, in one of the seats, and then her husband was in another seat, but like on the other side with their kid. Obviously, not a clue in the world what's going on, and they probably moved over because there was space. There was nobody in the aisle at that time. So I asked the girl, I'm like, is there anybody sitting in the seat beside you? Which is the one of the seats that I bought. And she's like, no, like she moved her drink out of the way so I could sit down. But I'm like, no, no, it's okay. And I told her the situation. So so, yeah, so I'm pissed already. Money down, all that stuff. And then I watched the Leafs get their absolute ass kicked 5-1 and have no heart, no care in the world. Craig Berube losing it to the Stars, losing it to Mitch Marner and Austin Matthews, who were downright pitifully garbage today. Both were dash threes. They didn't play much near the end. I think the third period, I was telling my mom as a, kid, as a third period went along, I'm like, I don't, I haven't seen him much at 34 and 16. Like, are they just not playing or are they just that unnoticeable right now? Uh, I, I just don't think we're playing too much. Marner ended up playing 1946. Matthews did play 20 minutes, but it didn't feel that way. Both, like I said, both were dash threes. Tanev had a rough night. Nylander, a horrific turnover in the third. It was an awful game. And I feel like every pass they tried to make was just such a questionable one. How many times today did I watch Mitch Marner try and pass across the blue line to somebody but hits Matthews right in the ass? What what are we doing, guys? And for God's sakes, the power play. Look, I got some stats for you guys. I don't want to talk too much about this game because it's been a horrific night already. Um... But I saw some stats and I had to bring it up. Adam Wilde tweeted this out. Well, Chris Johnson tweeted it out and then he kind of followed up because the Leafs went another 0 for the power play. Dating back to February 27th of last year, the Leafs power play is 13. 13 for 122. That is 10.65%. That's not a few games. That's not a month. 122 attempts. Embarrassing. And hey, Mark Savard, Barube, whoever the hell, can we freaking change something up? Like, can we move Marner off the damn top unit? Or move Nylander and, and Tavares down? Because, God, Tavares has been useless. Someone's got to move down. A couple guys got to move down. Give Matthew Nye some time because he looks like he actually shows some heart sometimes out there. It's embarrassing to watch. Absolutely embarrassing. Also, shout out Sportsnet Stats. The Maple Leafs lose back-to-back games by four goals or more for the first time since, guess this one, February 28th to Fe- uh, and February and March 1st 2015. You know what that means? That was the tank year for Matthews. That is how bad this team has played the last couple of games. Now people are going to come out and say, Oh, they outshot you. 41, you know, what was it? 41, 27 in shots. And sure, fine. They may have controlled play in the second half of the game, but you were down 2 nothing after 1. You didn't start on time. You were pretty damn awful. And er, like, let's be honest. If you watched the game itself, how many opportunities the Leafs had where they fired the puck right in the crest of uh, Jordan Binnington? So many times. It was awful. The only goal today, Oliver ekman Larson gets his first as a Leaf. Good for him. Pretty good shot. That's all I got for you, though. Joseph Walgut made his return today and wasn't great. Albeit, the team really let him down. I mean, I thought Tanev was freaking atrocious today. He was a dash three. McCabe, on one of the goals, I think it was the, was it the third goal? I can't remember which goal it was. Dude is behind his own net. And he's trying to between the legs pass to the front of the net. That doesn't end up getting there, but he turns the puck over, which leads to the goal. Like, what are we doing, guys? The only guys who played with heart today, I'd say it was Matthew N- Let me try and find it here. Matthew Nice. I think uh, Benoit, because he had that broken stick and he ended up chasing the guy down on a 2-on-0 uh, oh almost, basically. So good on him. And that fourth line. I thought Reeves, Camp, and Holmberg 
as much as it's very painful to watch Pontus Holmberg recently, I thought those were your best guys today. And I'm sorry, when you're making the money that Nylander, Tavares, Matthews, Marner are making, yeah, it's not happening. It's not going to cut it. Last thing I'll say. It felt like they were shit scared to have the puck on their stick today. Absolutely shit scared. How many opportunities where they have the puck in their own end and they're like, ah, banging off the boards too. Nobody. Okay, great. Or don't know where it is. Yeah, flip it up in the air. See what happens. Okay. And meanwhile, Blues, break it out, dump the puck in, chase after it hard, get a loose puck, cause a turnover. It, it was an awful game. Booing in, in the arena, and rightfully so. Like, I, I'm sorry. I should have been booing. I didn't boo, which is shocking to me considering the money I dropped in this game. And, and, and the money that was spent during tonight. But I was just sitting there like, what do I do? Like, why do I cheer for this team? Why do I care so much? Like, Really? I said that about the Raptors and I said that about the Blue Jays. Why do I care so much about these teams? But then the Raptors win a championship and I'm like, oh, there's the validation right there. Right now, all three teams are just in a weird spot. Now, the Leafs, yes, they're only eight games into the season and they've had weird stretches to start seasons basically every year. However, watching Craig Berube chew these guys out on the bench, your big stars on the bench, visibly doing it. But I don't care about that. Make a change. Look what Edmonton did. Dry Saddle McDavid are not in the same power play unit. That power play has been bad, and they take them off. Why can't they do it here? We'll see. Because it has been putrid all year long, and apparently since March 27th. No, that's a lie. Is it April 27th? No, hold on a minute. February. February 27th of last year. Well, last season, let's put it that way. Because it is this year, technically. I'm going to leave it at that, guys. I'm done. Uh, it's been a horrific night, so I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> Next game for the Leafs is, guess what? Saturday against the Bruins in at TD Garden. Now, Boston's had a horrific, horrific start to their season. They're 3-4-1 three and f- three, four and one on the year, and Jeremy Swayman hasn't been... Well, he's been fine for them this year. But the Bruins haven't been great. Leafs haven't been great. Something's got to give it TD Garden on Saturday, on Saturday night uh, at 7 o'clock. I don't know. Solar's is back in the cage. I think we all can agree on that. We'll see what happens. All right, so you know what, guys? That's going to do it for this one. If you enjoyed the video and not the game, because... Well, I didn't. <laughs> Hit the like button. to appreciate it. The subscribe button. You guys not done so already. Comment down below your thoughts on the video. Thoughts on the game. Would you like? Would you not like from the, today's game? All that stuff down below. Twitter, Discord, Instagram, TikTok. All that stuff is down below. So follow up there if you haven't done so already. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Oh, God. Tomorrow, Raptors edition. They welcome in Philly. Uh, yeah, great. Uh, as for the <laughs> Toronto Maple Leafs, they're back in action Saturday as they're in Boston. Taking the Bruins at 7 o'clock. Thank you guys so much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and not the game today. Talk to you guys then.